For a cat who's grown up in the mean streets of Washington, D.C., indoor life isn't always the best fit. But in the rat-infested district, they have an important role to play. That's where the Humane Rescue Alliance's Blue Collar Cat Program comes in. There were a lot of talks going into creating a working cat program. Hi, sweet girl. The profile of a blue collar cat is a cat who is cleared health-wise and behaviorally not an adoption candidate. Just fearful, really don't want people to touch you. These working class cats leave the indoor life of luxury to the feline bourgeoisie. Instead, they patrol backyards and alleys for furry foes. For many DC residents who've run out of options for getting rid of rats, they provide a creative alternative. The last avenue for them is also, let's try a cat. Some cats are great hunters and some are not, but it pretty much is shown that cats in an area will at least act as a deterrent. Hey, girl. Arthur James was matched with a blue collar cat after his beloved cat, Grady, passed away. Me and Grady was tight. <laughs> I could talk to Grady about anything. After he lost Grady, the Humane Rescue Alliance called and said a new cat, Hallie, needed a home and might be a good fit. We knew she didn't want to live inside. She didn't know what that meant. That was just as scary for her as taking an indoor-only cat and plopping them right outside. Hallie is one of more than 150 blue-collar cats to find new homes in the past two years. She ended up being placed in a very similar area, going back into Southeast DC with somebody who had had a cat for many years, but had gotten old and passed away. And he really wanted to take care of another cat, which was awesome, because we had a cat. Hallie gonna be all right. That's a good fit right there. She's just a little nervous and shy right now, but I think she's going to be all right. 